are now listening to The Mindset Session. Welcome to the Mindset Sessions. My name is Benjamin. I'm a DJ producer and I go by the name of Kid Massive. The Mindset Sessions is just a selection of my thoughts and ideas that I've gathered over the last 20 years to help you understand more about the creative journey and possibly to get to where you want to be a tiny bit faster. So on this episode, I will be talking about how to let go. How to simply just release yourself from a certain um, pattern of thought that you have and it's holding you back and you are not realizing your full potential. So to let go does not mean to get rid of. It simply means to let it be. Let me rephrase this. When I say to let go, it doesn't mean that you're getting rid of something. It just means that you are accepting that it is what it is. So you are choosing, therefore, to focus on something else. So it's raining outside. You can't change the fact that it's raining. But what you can change is your focus of your thoughts regarding the rain. So it's raining. You are very annoyed because it's not what you expected. And you keep going back to this feeling of annoyance. Oh my God, it's raining. This is so annoying. Blah, 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 blah. So what's happening is all your focus is simply aimed at that emotion. We can't change the fact that it's raining, but what we can change is what we focus on. So we can choose to just accept and go, right, okay, it's raining. There's nothing I can do about it. Let me focus on something else. That is to let go. We understand that it is what it is, but we are choosing to look elsewhere. We are choosing to let go of a certain emotion and focus on something which is more important, which is growth, positivity, motivation, passion, etc., etc. All these traits that help us grow and move forward. A lot of people seem to hold on to the past. They seem to hold on to their mistakes. And what happens if you keep holding on to these things? If you keep beating yourself up over, ah, it didn't quite go the way I wanted. Why didn't, why didn't it work? That's really annoying. And oh, blah, blah, blah. You keep associating whatever it is that you've done with a negative emotion. What's going to happen is your thought process is going to be a negatively charged thought process. Mistakes happen. This is part of life. It happens to everyone. But it's what we do with the reaction to the mistakes that define how we move forward. Mistakes are there to help guide us so we can learn from them, not to slow us down. Most successful people are simply not anchored in the past. They learn from it. They move forward onto newer challenges, bigger challenges, challenges that are more important. The past exists simply in memory. It's not real anymore. And having said that, the past is also a bad memory. Because, for instance, if I said to you right now, okay, what were you wearing today, three months ago? Can you give me a clear definition of what you were wearing? No. You know that you might have been wearing this and this and this, but you can't give me the exact details simply because your memory is a bad copy, a bad version of what's actually happened. You don't have the full details because it's in the past. It's an inferior memory. So what we do is we fill out the blanks. What we don't remember, we kind of guess given our normal behavior. So that means the image that we have of something that's happened in the past is not actually an actual representation of what's happened. So, 
we move to the future. Well, the future hasn't happened, yet many people live in the future. Oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? Well, what's going to happen tomorrow? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So everybody gets very frustrated about trying to predict what's going to happen. Well, unless you have a time machine, this is virtually impossible. You cannot gauge exactly what's going to happen. You might have an idea, and that idea might be close to accurate, but every single thing that we hear on the news regarding the future is always future prediction models. They're predicting, they're guessing, it's guesswork. They don't know. And many times, guesswork is a 50-50 shot. Yes or no, right or wrong, you simply don't know. So living in the past, constantly clinging on to old memories, old memories that you don't actually remember exactly the way that they were, so you're filling in the blanks to suit your needs. Or living in the future, trying to predict what you think is going to happen, trying to understand what tomorrow will bring. But like I said, you don't know, so you are also guessing. You are projecting your fear forward. The only thing that we can do where the image is 100% clear is focus on today. Focus on the present. So if you're holding on to something based in the past, well, you're holding on to something that's not actually correct. You have an understanding, an idea of an emotion. But like, for example, if I asked you, if you had an, an argument with someone, and then you, you leave it a while and then you go back and then you say, well, what were we actually arguing about? And people say, oh, I don't remember. And then they laugh it off and then they move on. So they've spent so much time and energy focusing on arguing. And when the time comes to let go, they don't actually remember why they argued in the first place. Or you live in the future or you're predicting. So the only thing that we can do is live today, live in the present. How you feel today is an accurate description of what's actually going on in your mind, in your body, everywhere, in your surroundings. Successful people don't live in the past. They learn from it. Successful people don't live in the future. They look at it, they understand that this is the general direction that we're going in, but it's not necessarily going to be exactly like that. What people, when I say successful, I'm not talking just monetary and finances. I'm talking people that are happy, people that are balanced, people that are calm, people that enjoy life. They live in the moment, here and now. They are able to let go of past fears, but also able to let go of trying to predict the future. They're not invested in the outcome of what's going to happen, because the outcome is you don't know. You have an idea of what you think might happen, but you simply don't know. Do things because you enjoy it. Do things because it makes you feel good. Do things because it makes you smile and it makes the people around you feel good. Don't do things because you expect a certain outcome. Because what's going to happen is you're trying to control what other people's reactions are going to be. So you are holding on so tightly to your expectation of, I want this person to react like that. And when they don't react like that, you become flustered, you become annoyed, you become angry, and your whole viewpoint changes and it takes a more negative stance. So do what you do because you love it. Don't do what you do because you want an outcome. If you expect an outcome, also expect that that outcome might not happen. What that means is simply do your job, do what you have to do, and then let go. And then the outcome will be what the outcome will be. By doing this, you allow yourself to be more open-minded with what's going to happen. Yes, it can be annoying if something doesn't work out. So be it. This is life. Sometimes things don't happen. But by letting go of any future expectations, we are actually able to take the blows, to take the negative feedback much easier because we, don't, we haven't tied ourselves up so much in, in a specific outcome. 
We can't control other people's actions. We can't control what other people do. The only thing that we can control is our reaction to something and how we choose to act. I can't control my, my wife, my husband, my boyfriend, my girlfriend. I can't control the, the person at the, the check-in counter. I can't control the taxi or the weather. or I can't control any of it. And by understanding that you can't control it, you let go. You simply just accept that, okay, I will do the best that I can do. And I will focus on being the best version of myself and let things be what they will be. Because happiness is, is really simple. Happiness is when you think what you say and what you do is in harmony. Let me repeat that. Happiness, calm, balance is when you is when what you think and what you say and what you do are in harmony. But if you're constantly projecting to the future, thinking, oh, this is going to happen, what if? You're out of harmony, you're out of balance. If you're constantly living in the past, thinking, oh, I wish it was like this in the past, you are now out of balance. You need to live in the present. You need to live in the moment right now. You need to enjoy what you have right now. If you can learn to do that, you can learn to be happy. If you can learn to be happy, you can learn to be calm. Your energy shifts, your focus goes in a certain direction. And more or less, you achieve the things that you want in your life. Because we have to remember, everybody makes mistakes. This is very commonplace. Everybody, it doesn't matter how advanced you are, how experienced you are, we all make mistakes. But it's what we do with these mistakes. Use the experience. Learn from it. It's what makes you human. Let go of any emotion that you've had attached to that specific thing that you've done. If something hasn't worked out, accept it and go, okay, this didn't work. Ah, uh, Annoying. Fine. Okay. Right. Let's move on. I made a mistake. I apologize. I will do better next time. And what's happening is now you're not living in the past. You're not dwelling on the mistake that you've already made. You are not projecting to the future thinking, oh, what if, what if I make a mistake? What if this happens? What if that happens? You simply just acknowledge, okay, it's done. It's over. I'm now going to focus on moving forward. Because by wishing things were the way that they were, you completely miss out on what's happening in the moment. Because right here, right now, is where life happens. You can't change the past. You can make decisions today that will help your future turn out the way that you want. But even then, you don't know. So anything you do today is going to affect tomorrow. Anything you've done in the past is, is gone, it's done. It's finished. And if you get to a point where you feel a bit nervous or feel a bit scared about doing something, do it. Go out there and make yourself do something that you haven't done before. Make yourself feel uncomfortable. Let go of that fear. Fear holds us back from doing a lot of things because it closes our minds to the possibilities of the future. It locks us into our comfort zone and most fears fill us with doubt and that is what imprisons us. That is what holds us back. The more you do to get out of the comfort zone, the more your fear will go away. So in life, ask yourself, what scares you? Try and understand it and watch yourself grow Every time you start facing your fears, every time you try and let go of an emotion that you've got and go, right, I want to let go of this. I want to try and do something else. And you'll see that you will probably end up being where you want to be. So letting go is not about getting rid of something. 
It's simply about understanding what it is and accepting that it is what it is. We can't change many things in the universe today except for our reaction to a specific something. We can choose to be angry or sad. We can choose to go left or right. All de- it, it all depends on us. We can also choose to let go of an emotion because there is a big, big, big difference between pain and suffering. Pain is short term. Somebody punches you in the arm, the pain is short term. It lasts for 30 seconds and the physical pain has subsided and you can move on. Pain happens in life all the time. Suffering is when somebody punches you in the arm and you keep holding on to that negative emotion attached to the pain that you felt. But the reality is the pain has actually already disappeared. The physical pain has disappeared and it is no longer in your body. It's gone. But the mental pain is still there and that is what you are suffering. You are suffering the pain in your mind. So you are making something which actually has already disappeared, last so much longer. So, next time you're in a situation where you feel a bit angry and a bit nervous or a bit something negative, ask yourself, am I holding on to this? Or can I let go? Anyway, that kind of wraps up my little thought on letting, it, on letting go, on, on you know, moving forward. So don't forget, you can uh, follow me on my socials, simply The Mindset Sessions, um, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Spotify, iTunes. It's all there available online. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at themindsetsessions.com. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one. You are now listening to The Mindset Session.